water. Put that right in there like that. That's hot. That's kind of scolding hot. Look at that. It's hot. Very hot. That is scolding. What is that? Wow. That's pretty hot. Wow. A little All right. The issue here, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have a thermostatic mixing valve. It's not doing its job anymore. Let me show you. Tectanium model TT40. Indirect fired water heater. And this knob don't turn anymore. All right, it's turning now only because it's stripped. So we are going to close the water, cold water feeding it. All right. We're going to cut out this pressure reduce, um, this thermostatic mixing valve. And we're going to install this Kalefi right here. This one, really nice. It's even got the temperature gauge. It's really, 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 really nice. I'm gonna show you step by step how we're gonna do All that. Right. We're gonna start draining some of the water. Oh, it got me. <laughs> start draining some of the water out of this water heater. All right. You hot yet? No, oh, she's cold. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let's close that. Let's close that. Domestic. Cold and hot shut off valves. Look at that, ring brass. Very nice, okay. Let's drain this out. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna, so got any water come out of there? Yep. I'm gonna pop open the relief valve, the temperature and pressure relief valve. The uh, XL100. That's so it doesn't get air locked. Now this is closed. We're gonna cut here. We're gonna have to cut somewhere here. Maybe we'll cut back here again because I know the coupling kind of looks retarded, but we're going to put our new thermostatic mixing valve in. You know what? Maybe we'll put it in. Maybe put it in up here. Let's get a little creative. All right. Here is the three-quarter inch press Kalefi thermostatic mixing valve. It's really a nice, nothing like fine Italian engineering. Very, very nice. At least they put it into a Fahrenheit for the rest of us folks over here who use the Imperial system. <laughs> Uh, right now it's been sitting in the truck and it's warming up all right that dial the temperature gauge is warming up so let me show you so this side right here it's marked hot that's more cold and that's for mixed mixed water right see mix this is our cold water this is our hot water and there's going to be our mixed so let's say we want to put it in like mix mixes up the top we want to put it in kind of like this in a way, right? If I put it in right here, yeah, I guess I could put it in right there. All right, but I'm going to extend this over a little bit. We're going to redo this. We're going to have to cut this here, put a coupling here, come up to here. We'll put that right there. Let's just check for the orientation. Make sure there's no prohibited um, methods or orientations. Now we put it in. We put a T in here. We have this valve closed. We'll, we'll probably cap that off. Now we need to cut from here to there. We're gonna use 90, 290s to get that. So let's get the piece of copper right in here. Press this in. It's already pre-reamed. Press that. Okay, tubing cutter. up that pipe cut right where the thumb is put your fingers okay let's get a couple 90s two 90s perfect one's gonna go there and looks like that's gonna be a street 90 yep so let's cut this Right around there. Yep. 
By the way, Pipe Doctor 516-348-6300. We're based in Valley Stream, New York on 80 East Hawthorne Avenue. We service about a five mile territory. Peter, what are you doing? Just cut the pipe. We service about a five mile territory. We do parts of Queens, the Rockaway Peninsula, um, the Five Towns, Elmont. We even go to Great Neck sometimes. But you gotta be really special. All right. Put a street 90 on right there. Okay, slider in there. Perfect. The only we gotta do now is uh, ream. I mean, uh, yeah, ream, ream, deeper. Da -da -da. Okay, we'll do it off camera. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Let's get a pair of, uh, let's get a wrench. Tighten up these four. One, two, three, four. Turn the water on. Okay. Okay, hot and cold. Both open. Filling back up the tank. We drained a little bit of water out of it. Excellent. Okay. Domestic. Looks like we're doing both right here. Good. Okay, Peter. Let's go to the faucet and make some adjustments. All right, so there's our dial. Take a look at page seven, temperature adjustment. All right, so position number four is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. See that? So the temperature is set to the required value by means of the knob with a gradual scale on the top of the valve. So there's our indentation right there. We're on four, and we're gonna go to the faucet and test the temperature. Right. There that is right there. She may spike at first. So we do have some of that temperature in the line. Okay. That comes the air. And all that cocky. That for right now. Hold that for a second. Let's see if we can. Oh man, I don't think this is gonna come out. Hold on. Let's see. So I don't want to foul up the the aerator inside the faucet. But this faucet don't appear to be too cooperative. Damn. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that's metal in your lungs. <laughs> you get all the air out. Okay, but by taking the, the, the head off, we're not going to foul up the, uh, the air area. Okay. And be careful, don't let it fall back into the uh, inside the spout. Good luck getting it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go, go all in there. Okay, there's that. Go back to what we were doing. We'll check our temperature, and hopefully we should be a little under 120. A little bit more I left in there, but that's much better. That's so much better. Yeah. See, so you can actually keep your hand under there now. See? Yeah. 112.7.9. Just climbing back up again. Let's see what she goes to. 14. Very good. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to take the information 
An installation and commission manual. We're gonna leave that with the equipment. Let's stick it right there next to this relay box. All right, it's easy, future reference. Look out for the next guy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, hope you enjoyed this quick little video on what to do if your water heater is too, putting out too hot water. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that thumbs up button and please consider subscribing. There's no cost or obligation. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a great day.